guys, welcome to my Singe Guide, and today I'm going to teach you how to play one of the funnest champs in the league, Singe. Singe is a very unique champion because his kit does not evolve around you fighting enemies directly, it evolves around them chasing you and your poison trail, really. Which, as you know, you should never chase a Singe, but people just always seem to chase this guy, I don't know. It's just something about him, he's like a Teemo type champion. So, first I'm going to talk about his skills, his passive Noxian Slipstream. Uh, it gives you movement speed when, oh, I guess it doesn't work with dummies, but it gives you movement speed when you run past your allies. Like so. So you get a quick, you drift off of them and then you get a quick movement speed. And this works on enemies as well, which is quite good to know. His Q, Poison Trail pretty self-explanatory, you just run around and behind you, you just leave behind a poison trail that lingers for a little bit. His W, Mega Adhesive, throws a sticky puddle onto the ground that lasts 3 seconds and has a special interaction with his E, which is Fling, which throws a target over your shoulder, basically a certain range. And if you fling them into your puddle, they get rooted. And your rooted duration depends on what level your E is. And it can, the root can last up to 2 seconds. Uh, his ultimate insanity potion gives him a bunch of stats, movement, speed, health, regen, every stats basically it gives you. Uh, now let's talk about his early game. So since there's some things you would want to keep in mind when you're starting an early game. You will want to start over here and be careful where the enemy jungler is going to start. Whether he starts top side or whether he starts bot side. It doesn't matter which side of the jungle. If he starts top side, you want to be careful because usually after claiming their first buff, they're going to try to kill you level 2. So what you can do after you proxy your first wave either over here or over here, you want to come in ward either this area over here so that you can see whether the enemy jungler is going to come up and kill you or if you're starting on this side you put just a ward down over here or over here so you can escape any ganks ghost away as soon as you can if you get ganked early game whether you die whether you get executed it it doesn't really matter the point is to get your opponent to lose yes and that will give you a big advantage in lane because you would have cleared the minions and he will be losing minions in the tower. So I'll show you guys some examples. After you get your early game down, sin is pretty much the same all the time. You just come, you proxy over and over again. And it's very situational, this champion. You gotta be careful. So let's go and get into some actual examples now. Alright, so over here I'm against the Kha'Zix and Malphite. And obviously I don't know where they're starting, Kha'Zix put a word over the early game. I'm starting over here. And let's fast forward this a little bit. Just so we can get to the early game. Started Dark Steel, started Refillable Potion. It's a pretty standard Singe game. Obviously I went on ahead, proxying the first wave, auto attacking minions whenever I can. Just so I can clear these without losing as much HP as possible. You want to toggle your Q as well. So you can lose the least amount of mana possible. So as soon as I finish doing this. They're pinging me. I see Malphite over here. Now he, he's in Kha'Zix as well. He's coming up. They both want to try to mess with me. I'm just doing my thing. Kha'Zix is coming in for a gank. I have no idea he's here. See him. Just run away. No no problem here. Uh, let's see what I do. So he leaves. I go back to lane. Just take these minions. He's at a big disadvantage because he decided to chase me and he lost a whole wave of minions. He has one CS. So I, I mean, decided to stay in lane here. Because I got level 2. He almost died there. And I think I dive him after. He decides to stay, which is not a very good idea. Oh, never mind. So I do a recall over here, TP back to lane, take minions. He stayed, and then he just dies. 
I think. Yeah, I don't know why he stayed so long. I'm getting ganked here. Don't die. I use my ghost. Clear the minion wave. Decide to dive him. I get first blood. I die, but I, I got Kha'Zix's flash. So that's kind of an example of how you'd want to play your early game. Alright, so him in another example, and I'm against... Oh, let me sort this out. I'm against Cho'Gath and Ringo. And they did not start top side. So this is going to be a pretty standard game. I got my Darks here, I got my Refillable. I'm going to go ahead and proxy my first wave here. And what's weird is this Cho'Gath came into lane a bit late. And I don't really understand why. I didn't even bother to leave behind the poison trail for him. Just cleared my wave. Put my ward down over there. The red buff is up. Rengar's obviously started bot side or they invaded. I don't really know what happened. Don't care. And over here, decide to go to the in between the tier 2 and 3 towers. And proxy here. This Leeson, I'm not sure what he's doing. He decided to invade. Let's see what he's doing. And he decided to invade for no real reason. I came here to just in case Rengar was coming up. <coughs> so Rengar comes up. Lee smites it early. Somehow gets in. He dies for no reason. I'm just, meanwhile, I'm just ignoring this. Hour. I see him here. I try to come to help him. And I think I also die here, which is quite unfortunate. Yeah. Dodge the Q. The Rengar kills him. Not to worry. Right now, um, I have way more CS than this Cho'Gath. So I just chill. Go back to lane. Let's see what happens. I think I end up diving him. Yep. Okay, dive him, get a free kill. All good. Continue to proxy. Let me skip a bit. So over here I go and... I'm level 6, and he's level 4, and he's fighting me, which kind of makes no sense. So I try to go for the dive, obviously. Get ganked by Rengar. He walked... He's stupid. He could have just autoed me once. Didn't do that. Walks all over my poison. Kill him. Alright. So in terms of build, there's two kind of builds that you can go on Singed. Which is a more AP, full AP glass cannon type build. Uh, it's kind of situational, depends on who you're against and stuff. But some of the items that you can build on AP Singe is this tanky Singe. You can build these items, you can mix and match if you want. And in terms of runes, there aren't any specific set runes. You can go, I'll talk about some of the most important ones. Airy is a very good damage. Rune on Singe. Ultimate Hat will give your ultimate more cooldowns. Means you can use it more often. And Singe's ultimate is very, very powerful. Celerity is pretty good as your ult gives you movement speed. And that will give you more damage. The faster you're moving, Ghost as well will increase your damage. I guess over here you can go Scorch if you wanted, Magical Footwear is pretty good, and Cosmic Insight is the best choice over here, I would say. You can also go Stopwatch, everyone's going Stopwatch nowadays. For a more tanky Singe build, where you can go Aftershock, you can go Grasp, doesn't matter too much. Conditioning is very good. Overgrowth, because you'll be proxying, you'll be farming a lot. And footwear, celestial body, also very good. For your summoner spells, you all, you take always ghost. Very, very, well, obviously singed over here. He's very good with ghost. And you can go either teleport or ignite. Now, ignite is good in terms of getting kills, but I think teleport is a lot more useful go. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll be uploading a full gameplay commentary on Singed 
later and see you in the next video. How about a drink? <laughs>